The PlayStation 3, which was the successor to the PlayStation 2, was first released in November 2006 in both Japan and North America and in 2007 in Europe. Now, I was one of those customers queuing in the freezing cold in Chicago City waiting for that PlayStation to drop so I could bring it back to Europe and be one of the first customers to actually have it. So if you want to be able to play your PS3 games on your PC, then keep watching. Now, before we jump into the video, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to check us out on eBay at GameXTC. You'll get valuable information on leveling up your video game hardware and software. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to RPCS3's website. The link's in the description. You then want to click download. And as I'm doing this for Windows, I select the Windows download. But please note that this will only be supported for Windows 10 and 11. Once your download is complete, you then want to head over to the PlayStation website. Here, we're going to download the PS3 system software update. Again, the link's in the description. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click reinstall using a computer. That's where you'll find the link to download the software. As I've now downloaded my files and placed them on my desktop, I'm going to create a new folder called subscribe. As a gentle reminder for you to click that button. But so that you don't forget the purpose of this folder, I would encourage you to label it and call it RPCS3. You then drag your downloaded files into your newly created folder. You then unzip your RPCS3 file using Extract2. If you're struggling to find an extraction tool, you can use 7-Zip. The link's in the description. Then delete your zipped file and create a new folder called Firmware. You then drag your PS3 update.pup file into your newly created firmware folder. Open your RPCS3 folder and then run the RPCS3 application. As I'm running this on Windows, I receive a Windows protected your PC pop-up. Now, this is not a virus, so what you wanna do is click more info and then run anyway. You'll then be presented with a welcome screen. Here, you can create shortcuts, configure your theme, but essentially, in order to continue, all you have to do is tick the checkbox, I have read the quick start guide and then click continue. You'll then be prompted with another screen that asks you whether or not you want to update. RPC S3 features an auto updater, which will prompt you if you want to update after starting the emulator. You can either accept, deny, or disable updates altogether. It's not recommended disabling updates due to the volume of fixes that roll out each day. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna select no. Now that the emulator is open, the first thing you wanna do is click file and then install firmware and then locate the firmware folder that we created and click open. This would then start the installation process for the firmware and once successfully installed, click OK. We've now initiated the compiling of the PPU modules, which may take a couple of minutes to complete. As that's complete, you then want to click file, add games and locate your games folder. Select your folder, and then you should receive a pop-up that says success. Here, you just want to click OK. You then want to go to pads so that you can configure your controllers. As you can see, it's defaulted to keyboard, but if you were to default this to DualShock 3, 4, DualSense, so on and so forth, then the button should automatically be mapped. In case it's not, left-click the commands on the screen, for example, D-pad up, and then press that button on your controller. You do this for all the commands you can see on the screen. And once satisfied, you click save. Now, when you're using this emulator, you'll realize that there are tons of features, tons of options that will allow you to run your emulator that little bit smoother. However, for this tutorial, the only thing I'm gonna show you is where your save data is, which is under manage. Providing you are happy with your configuration, all you want to do is left click your game and click play. This will analyze, compile, and start the build of your PPU module. Once that's completed, you can expand the screen and your game will start. With that said, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help. I know there's features that we didn't walk you through. And again, if you have those questions, just ask and we will reply. You can then follow the on-screen prompts, which is in relation to the game data. And on that note, 
let me leave you with Petro 55 intro. Yeah! 